Why the energy and matter cannot be destroyed and never be created. Hello and welcome to today's topic, why energy and matter cannot be destroyed and never be created. This debate has been around for centuries, with various scientists, philosophers and physicists trying to come up with answers. In this video, we are going to explore the fundamental laws of physics and delve into the reasoning as to why energy and matter cannot be destroyed nor created. So, sit back, relax and let's unravel this mystery. The law of conservation of energy to understand why energy and matter cannot be destroyed or created, we must first look at the law of conservation of energy. This law states that energy cannot be created or destroyed, only transformed from one form to another. This law is also known as the first law of thermodynamics. The law of conservation of energy implies that the total energy of a closed system remains constant, it can neither increase nor decrease, but instead, it just changes from one form to another. For instance, consider a ball that is moving down a hill. As the ball moves, its kinetic energy increases, and as it reaches the bottom, it powers a generator that converts its kinetic energy into electrical energy. In this example, the kinetic energy of the ball has transformed into electrical energy, but in essence, it has not been destroyed or created. Mass energy equivalence another essential concept that helps us understand why energy and matter cannot be created nor destroyed is mass energy equivalence, as described by Einstein's famous equation, E equals mc2 squared. This equation establishes that mass and energy are interchangeable. In simpler terms, it means that mass can be converted into energy, and vice versa. For example, consider a uranium-235 atom undergoing fission, some of the mass of the atom is converted into energy, and the energy released is what powers the nuclear reactor. In this example, mass and energy have transformed into one another, but nothing has been created or destroyed. The law of conservation of mass supplements the law of conservation of energy in describing why energy and matter cannot be created nor destroyed. This law states that the mass of an isolated system is constant, and it cannot be created nor destroyed. During any physical or chemical reaction, matter can change its state but cannot be created nor destroyed. For example, consider a simple chemical reaction such as the combustion of methane. When methane, CH4, burns in the presence of oxygen, it forms carbon dioxide, CO2, and water, H2O. In this reaction, the original molecules, methane and oxygen, have transformed into carbon dioxide and water, but the mass of all these molecules remains the same, and nothing is created or destroyed. Boundary conditions Our final point to explore is the boundary conditions that surround an isolated system, a system that does not exchange any energy or matter with the surrounding environment. The laws of physics hold true for isolated systems, which helps us understand why energy and matter cannot be destroyed or created. Let's examine a universe with boundary conditions, for instance. Since the universe is an isolated system, it is subject to the laws of conservation of energy and mass. The universe's matter and energy are constant, and nothing within the universe can be destroyed nor created. Conclusion So, in conclusion, energy and matter cannot be created nor destroyed due to the fundamental laws of physics. The laws of thermodynamics, mass energy equivalence, conservation of mass, and boundary conditions all play a vital role in our understanding of this elemental truth. The idea of something being destroyed or created goes against the fundamental principles of physics, and therefore, it is not possible. Thanks for watching.